I was born in America and have come back to Taiwan to rediscover my heritage. Join me as I explore hidden secrets and meet amazing people on Fun Taiwan. that I'm willing to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning for, and one is a sunrise. Now, they say that one of the most beautiful sunrises is here in Ali Sun, which is why it's called one of the five wonders of Ali Sun. Now, the rest of the four include a sun, the sunset, the sea of clouds, the cypress forest, and also this train, which is one of the three remaining mountain trains in the entire world. Now, I'm going to go find Mr. Ong, who is a third-generation conductor on the train. It should be a very exciting trip, and I can't wait to see all these five wonders. Sun Forest Railway is a favorite for tourists from all over the world. As we made our steep descent over 2,000 meters along a zigzag route, I almost thought we'd run into the mountains. Fortunately, that doesn't happen, and instead I go from tropical flowers to alpine cypresses all in one short trip. Mr. Ong knows all the best spots for viewing Ali San's famous sunrises, so he takes me to his favorite. This is Mr. Ong's thousandth trip to see the sunrise. Now, this is my first, so the feeling is completely different, yet he loves it every time. The crisp morning air and beautiful sunrise is something I definitely wouldn't mind waking up early for over and over again. It's no surprise Ali Sun attracts so many visitors. When the Japanese arrived in Ali San, they discovered a mountain covered with beautiful thousand-year-old red cypress trees, which they promptly began exporting to their country. Fortunately, today Ali San is a protected forest. There is, however, something else which Mr. Chen grows in these mountains, which is still sought after in Japan: wasabi. Since I had such an early start. I thought I'd try a bit of wasabi to wake me up, so I headed over to meet Mr. Chen in his alpine farm. It's really heavy. Oh my gosh, 30 kilograms, and he usually carries two at the same time on his head. Uh, let's see how he does it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. At this altitude and with this weight on my neck, I think I'm gonna pass out. Okay. Because I'm not quite up for this part of the job, Mr. Chen shows me simpler aspects to planting wasabi, which grows easily in the mountains of Alisan. Oh, like lilies. These are all wasabi plants. Okay. So from one plant we get lots of saplings. It's actually very it's a very profitable business. From one plant you can keep planting lots of them. Okay. Try this. I wish you could try this. Man, this is really spicy. Woo! Good, uh, good for cold medicine. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 So now Mr. Sen has invited me to make a wasabi dish. And not your typical wasabi that you eat with sashimi. We're gonna see what kind of special recipe. Mr. Chen lives, works, and breathes wasabi. So he has come up with a few new recipes using his green gold. He guarantees his dishes will set off fireworks in my head. I bet you if you're like me, you've probably eaten wasabi, but you've never actually seen wasabi before. I'm very excited to see what other kind of recipes we can eat besides just eating sashimi. Mmm, should be very tasty. This one goes into the soup. Chicken soup. Mmm, it tastes... Living alone in the Alisan Mountains has made Mr. Chen more than just a chef. He's even got a couple mealtime games up his sleeve. If only I had known what I was about to get into. <laughs> this is what you get when you play with a wasabi planter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's nice knowing you. I did it. <laughs> Nothing better after stuffing yourself with a wasabi meal than going for a little stroll. And living in it in Ali San, the advantage is that your backyard is full of hinoki trees that are 50, 40, 40, 50 years old. It's amazing. Oh.
Mr. Chen, his wasabi, and tourists like me have one thing in common. They all love the cool temperate climate and the shade-giving cypresses which grow here. It's an experience which I guess I have the Ali San Railway to thank for. I said goodbye to my wasabi friend and head back to find Mr. Ong, who has been busy oiling, checking, rechecking, maintaining, and fixing his trains. He says that he probably spends more time taking care of his trains than his own body. This one, in particular, is his pride and joy. Great wasabi meal. Now I'm going to go check out one of these steam 